from us and gets away with it. They have taken our cash and our treasures and we will stop at nothing to get them back. Whoever is watching this, bring us the unicorn horn. We know you have it. If you bring it to us, we will exchange this family for it. We only want our treasures. As for what happened to get us here, this video was found in their camera. When we got them, they need to be more careful next time. Okay, we're getting ready to go. Yesterday we got back from Lava Hot Springs in Idaho and now we are all ready to go or are finishing getting ready to go because we're gonna go to the Clyde Rec Center in Springville. Typically in our videos I don't say where we're gonna be the next day because I don't know who might show up but we completely forgot and we said that we were gonna go to the Clyde Rec Center in Springville so I hope no like I don't know if any fans, fans meeting us there. Some fans might show up or something. I don't know. Everybody else is gonna be going swimming. I am going to stay out of the water because I got ready today. Ah! And I wanna look pretty for the rest of the day. You look really pretty. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I feel pretty pretty today. But I think everybody else is excited about going swimming. Yeah, so Michael's gonna we're I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna help the kids and stuff, but I'm gonna be we're outside gonna of the water. Everybody else swimming. is gonna go say swimming! Swimming! <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that last clue for Mr. E? Because um, so that we know where to look again. Well, I know that it said to swim deep. Swim deep and find a key. Find, oh, a did key. it say find a key? Yeah. I think so. We need to get that clue. So we gotta find a clue, or at least look at the old video to find out what we're going to be looking for. But where it says the Clyde Rec Center and. All I can remember is swim deep at the Clyde Rec Center. So we're gonna go there in Springville and okay. see what we can find. Let's go. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, it's I I Captain. Ready again. Are uh, you ready, kids? I I Captain! I can't hear you! I I Captain! I I Captain! Alright. Oh. We are the beach house. <laughs> hey, uh, I can tell you drove this last because I have to push it forward. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a tall man. This Me is too. it. Uh, guys, there's a couple white trucks here. That's. There's a few. Look, there's another one. I hope that the bandits didn't find us. Another one. Another one over there. Yeah, there's quite a few actually. Becca, what if the <gasps> bandits? Right there. What if they watched right our there. video? Another one right there. What if the bandits came here to try to take the clue from Mr. Oh. E? See, we thought that maybe we might see some fans or someone that was waiting here to to try to see us, but I don't even know if we should go in now. Now I'm seeing a bunch of white trucks. Well, we have to get that clue from Mr. E. We can't just leave it there. Yeah. So maybe then we need to come up with a plan. Okay. How can we go in there, get what we need, and find it as quick as possible, and get out of there as quick as possible? Well, we, the clue just okay, said to dive deep. One, two, 
three, four, five, and I think there was one more, like six white trucks here. That's no joke, like that's a lot of bandits. If it's bandits, yeah, that's a lot that was of parked way out there. That's not even close to the rec center. I don't know why it would be parked so far away. Unless it was, you know, I don't know, doing something it shouldn't do. Okay, then I, I, ugh. Let's just go in really fast. Okay. Swim deep and try to see if we can see something. If okay. we don't see anything, then we'll get Find out. Find the deepest pool. Yes. Find the, the deepest things and see what we can do. Okay, let's oh, just get it and go. this makes me really nervous. I we think we're gonna to be try. okay. I think it's. I think we're gonna be all right. I don't think that they're gonna see anything bad here. Okay. I hope we're okay. Well, okay. I did kind of park further out. The only other one that can really see us really well is that truck right there, and I hope that there's no bandits in it. So let's just go in. Okay. And and find it as quick as we can. Okay. Let's go. Okay, you guys, stay close. Actually. I think I just saw a white truck driving past. Stay close then, let's be careful. We They might find the treasure before we do, without the clue. Because they saw the clue Wait, from the video. they did see the clue. <gasps> Which means if they have the key, then they can get to the next clue already. Oh, no. We've got to get in there as fast as possible. Oh, no. Okay. And get out of there as fast as possible. Okay. Kids pool's over here, Becca. Oh, my hair is so crazy from how windy it was outside. <laughs> so do we want to look at the kids' pools really quick? Let's be more quiet. We don't know who who might be a bandit, like especially because if they're in they might here, be undercover. They're not wearing like their typical boots and cowboy hat and stuff. That's right. So we we can't just like spot a bandit in here. That's a really as good point. They could totally be undercover and we'd never but even look know. It. It. There's some people that are just like sitting around. Okay. They look like they're not swimming, but they're just sitting around. They would recognize us though. So do we want to go quickly? Like. What if someone is up on one of those treadmills up there and they can just kind of see from a distance what's going on? Oh, that would be know. really smart. Like, we gotta, we gotta hurry up. Okay, let's go. He looked everywhere for it and he didn't find it. Michael is in the kid in the pool with the kids. The kids have all looked around with Michael. They've all looked and searched for a long time in this pool and we haven't seen anything. You just got out of the pool. What, what did you find? Did you find anything? I didn't find anything. How hard did you look? There's one more pool that we haven't explored and that's that one right there. Okay, so we'll know that that over there has nothing in it. That and you searched too with Corbin and Dad and I Ellie? I was actually the only one that went all the way under the water and looked all over on the floor. Okay. And my dad did, but I didn't find anything. All right, well let's go get dressed and see, maybe Dad can dive down to the really deep part. There you go. Thank you. Okay, the kids are all done swimming and helping us search and now it's time for Michael. This is the last pool and we need to swim down deep it said. So we're going to try and swim down to the very deepest part of the pool and see if we can find it. Okay, let me see what I can see. Alright, still hasn't found it. Could you see anything? There's something down there. Really? There's something down there. But it's really deep. It's really deep here. Is it the deepest part? It's at the very deepest point down in the water. We okay. Go around to the other side. Okay. I think we finally found it. He's going way far down there right now. <gasps> I think he got it.
I don't even know what it is. All right, well maybe you can hop out and then let's take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. All the while, we gotta keep an eye out for suspicious okay. looking people. All right, I'm gonna hop out and then let's take a look. All right, we found a quiet, dry okay. spot. And what did oh. you say? You said it was really deep. It was so deep. I had to equalize three times just to get all the way down to the bottom. Wow. Yeah. That is really, like, my ears are are like 13 my feet or something deep. It's a good thing I have diving practice. Honestly, if I didn't know scuba diving, I don't think I could have gotten down that far. Really? Because my ears would hurt too much. Oh, wow. But because I know how to equalize, I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this thing looks so interesting. So it looks like this is just the weight. I'm not seeing any way to open that. I'm so glad we got to this before the bandits did and that we were able to actually find it. This definitely looks like something that Mr. E would have left. So far we haven't seen any bandits, but I will say this. There were a few people that were watching me when I was down in there. Really? That I was noticing were watching me as we were looking around in the pools. And I don't know who they are. Okay, I just got the chain off. Okay. Let's open this. It was open? A little bit? <gasps> There's oh. water in it. And a note. <gasps> a note! Okay. What does it say? It says, We've got the treasure from Mr. E. <gasps> P.S. You are surrounded. <gasps> oh. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, oh my goodness. We're surrounded? <gasps> does that mean, do you think that the bandits got the treasure before us? Well, well, is there anything else in there? There's that, nothing well, else in here. Definitely, they definitely got it before us because they got, they left that note. Does that mean that we can't get out of here? Oh my goodness. We need to, are we ready to go now? I think we should try we to are ready to go right before now. they notice we're gone. Because I did see people watching us. We need to come up with a plan because if we're st Okay, let's, let's go find a bathroom so that we can talk right Okay. So that no and let's make a plan. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Go in there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. In there. Go in, go in. Quick, 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 quick. This was the... Shh, shh. Everybody be quiet. I cannot believe it. They found it before we did. The band... That means that the bandits that were out in front had already found it by the time we even got here. And they, like, set a trap for us. I think we're... Oh, oh my goodness. We have got to come up with a plan. We need to just get out of here. I think you need to run. James, give that to me. Well, the thing is, if we run and they have the building surrounded, then they might catch us. <gasps> I have an idea. Okay, what if we call Brian and he can he can come inside the building and sneak inside the building somehow without them seeing him? Oh, well, that's then, a great idea. And then he can hide with the kids and maybe we can go out and have be a distraction for the parents. That's a great idea. So Let's that, call Ryan right so now. maybe we can run out as fast as we can, and then it will deter. Uh, it will make all of the bandits go in a different direction, away from the the rec center, and then Ryan can get the kids to the van as quick as possible. Okay, I'm calling Ryan. Okay. We're here at the Clyde Rec Center, and we I think we're in danger because of bandits. Um, I need you to come here and come to take care of the kids. Becca and I are going to see if we can try to escape. Um, and distract the bandits. Tell him he has to sneak into the building and then he's got to sit with the kids so we can distract the bandits. Okay, did you hear that? Okay, all right, then we'll see you soon. All right, bye. All right, we gotta go find Ryan, meet up with him, and before we exit the building and then we'll be able to distract the bandits. Okay. You see anyone? Shh. Oh, she's face. Stay together. Let me check with the camera. Sneak. Over here, guys. Over here. Okay, let's just wait for Ryan. Once we see him, we'll run over to him. Okay, let's go. Okay, just wait right here. I'm not seeing any yet. We gotta keep our eye out for Ryan. He's gonna be here any minute. He's coming in, he's here. All right, guys, we gotta get meet him over there at the front right now. Come on, come on guys, go, 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 go. Quickly, okay. All right, we're here. Okay, so the bandits are out there. Did you, did you get seen by any of them? I saw some white trucks, but I didn't get seen by them, I don't think. Okay, I just don't think they were expecting you to come. Yeah. Okay. Can you stay right. here with the kids? Me and Rebecca yeah. are going to go outside and get the van. We're going to try and distract see them. See if we can distract them like a decoy. Great. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's not get the keys. Let's just let's just get out there. And me and Michael are going to go outside. And we're going to distract the bandits. Here's the keys to the van. 
and then the second that you can see that all of the bandits are away from the front door, run to the van with the kids as fast as possible. Okay, get them to safety. And then we will call you, we got our phones on you, on we'll, us. Call you later. we'll call you later and tell you where to pick us up because we don't know where we're gonna run to, but we're just gonna run and distract them. Okay, right, let's go. that the kids got safe, safely away. We know they're with Ryan, so as soon as we can get phones. <gasps> my phone. Do you have it? <gasps> my phone is gone. My phone's gone too. We can't call anybody. Oh, I wonder where they're taking us. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope that everything's gonna be okay. I don't know what they want. I'm not hurt. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Okay. I just, it's like I fell asleep and just woke up. Oh, okay. Where are we going? We still have the camera though. Uh oh, he's stopping. <gasps> Can you, to where are we? <gasps> We're stopped. He's coming, I think he's coming. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. There he is. <laughs> we have you now. You thought you could outsmart us. This plan will not fail. We want your, actually it was our treasures, but we want our treasures back. You will remain here with us until we get that unicorn horn back. Better hope your precious family cares about you. If they don't come here soon, we will make you join us. We have an artifact that can make you do just that thing. <laughs> Give me that. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Beck and Mike have been gone for like two weeks and I have no idea where they are. I've been watching the kids over here. I never got the phone call from them. Yeah, I'm starting to get really worried. I'm not sure what to do. I just got a notification on my phone. What? It looks like the Beach House uploaded a new video. That's a bandit! The bandit! The bandit's got... The bandits got us and stole Mystery's clue on our channel. That's where they've been. I gotta get this on the TV so we can all see it. The bandits got us and stole Mr. E's clue on our channel. You thought you could have smarted us. You will remain here with us until we get that unicorn horn back. <gasps> oh. family cares about you. You guys, they have mom and dad. We need to get them back. Yeah, that's right, we need to get them back. Yes. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. Um, maybe I could make a decoy. Yeah, yeah, I could make a decoy. This is a good idea. That way, because I don't trust those guys up there. I really don't trust those guys. All right, guys, so I just saw the vlog and I noticed that Beck and Mike were caught. Uh, I had no idea. Uh, we just came back to the house. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I need to get the, the unicorn horn. Right. These guys said that they needed the unicorn horn to trade back. But this is the thing, those guys are so dangerous, I don't know if I want to trade them back to the actual unicorn horn. I think it would be dangerous. 
have an idea. I can fill this up with hot glue gun glue. We'll let that dry, and then I know that they can tell that it's not a unicorn horn, so I'll have to wrap it in something. Yeah. Got some string and this. Wrap it in like this. Okay, I got it all wrapped up. As you can see, it kind of has that shine through it like that. So that's really, really good. Have the aluminum and everything. It's not as hard. It's a little bit softer, but it still is the right shape of everything. Pretty, pretty close to the same shape, and it's been wrapped. So it looks, if you look at it, the silver's through it, so it looks just like it, but it's wrapped, so when they grab it, they'll probably think it's the right unicorn horn. Has the bumps and everything. This should work. I'll trade them this one. So, okay, you guys will probably have to stay here. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I want you guys to be safe. And then I'll, I'll have to do the trading. Grandma, I think grandma will be busy. Gotta get Becca and Mike back. You guys. We have been trapped in this garage for weeks now and we haven't been able to make any contact with the family and the bandits have been feeding us. I've tried to use my watch, it's not like connected to the Bluetooth anymore so I can't use it to call or anything. The bandits took our other camera but what they didn't realize is that vloggers are prepared and I had a second camera hidden away. So what we don't know is if the kids got away or if Ryan is safe. We don't know anything, the bandits won't tell us anything. Um, except one of the bandits, I think his name is Henry, was saying something about an artifact that he can use. Okay. I think they're here. We need to be quiet. They were saying something about an artifact that they can use to turn us Turn it off. Okay, the bandits just left. Yeah, I can hear them driving away. Um, so what, uh, I can't remember what I was saying. It's an artifact? Oh, uh, it sounds like they might have found another treasure with a different artifact that has a different power, and I don't know, but it sounded like he said he was gonna turn us into bandits. He's threatening us with it, and I don't want to become evil. Yeah, so we've been following their instructions. We're not trying to do anything bad, but I'm really nervous because I don't know how much longer we're gonna be here, and we haven't heard anything, and they're not telling us anything. They give us a little bit of food and water each day. It's not very much. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. So basically, just to give you guys an idea, we're like in this shed and there's just a whole bunch of boxes of miscellaneous things. Um, there's not really anything that we can use. I don't know where we are, what city we're in. We could be anywhere. Um, they drove for a long time. We do know where our cell phones are though. Yeah, I think they've got them locked up somewhere. Yeah. Because I heard the ringtone on my cell phone ringing. Really? That first night, and it, it was in with the bandits. Oh. And so I think that maybe Ryan was trying to contact us, wondering where we were, and I think the bandits had the phone and just turned it off, so. We've tried to get out, there's a window and a door. We've tried to get yeah. out of them, but it looks like both so, of them so we've got are a locked from the outside. There's a door here, and it's got a lock, but it doesn't want to unlock. It's a little bit of loose, but it won't move beyond that no matter how hard I push. Same with this one. It doesn't want to unlock at all. And then like... And I can't get it to open either. You can see there's a little bit of light shining through and that's how we... Did you hear that? Shh. I see the treasure chest. Or it's not a really treasure chest. Mr. E sent us that clue, right? And we've always like hoped that Mr. E was good, but then we don't really know. And then he's, we went to the Clyde Rec Center and all of those bandits were already there. Yes, 
we did make a mistake on our part so it could have been very well all our fault that all of the bandits showed up yeah. but it also could be what it what do you think do you think it could have been mr e and maybe he's actually bad i still don't think mr e's bad i think that we told people where we were going before we went there and i think the bandits went there first and beat us to it not yeah. only that but in the note that was left by the bandits it said we got the treasure from mr e first or whatever so Unless they're just trying to pretend like he's not in on it. Like, I guess Mr. Yeah. E is still It definitely looked innocent. like something that Mr. E would send to us. Right. But what if it was all just set up that we would just go there and it was all set up by Mr. E? I guess that's Mr. always e. a possibility. It's impossible to know we for don't sure. Know. You know what though? I feel like I feel like our, like our only shot of getting out of here is to get our cell phones and be able to have communication so that we can call somebody or ask for help. I just had an idea. What? What if, I think that there's a keypad on the outside of the door because when they open the door, I hear beeping. Oh. And I just noticed all of a sudden just now that actually right up here on top of the door, on top of the shed, there's some light coming in here. Becca, what if we could lift you up and you could see through? We've got a ladder. Shh. If we got up on the ladder, maybe we could look through there and see the code. But if we climb up on the ladder, see what the code is, he's gonna open up the door and we're gonna get knocked over. Unless we hold the door shut or something. Yeah, we could do that. I'm nervous, but if we look through the window, it doesn't give us a vantage point to be able to see out. Yeah, to see what the code is. Let's... Maybe if we knock on the door, they'll, they'll come and open it. Oh. And then that'll give us a chance to get the code. And then we'll just hold it shut. Yeah. So that, okay, okay. Okay, let's do I that. Think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let you climb up on the ladder. Okay. I can see our camera on the box. And this is where the bandits have been hanging out, just in this chair, but I think he just left for a minute. Could be back any second though. I need to go to the bathroom. Too bad. Sorry, I I just really need to go to the bathroom. Too bad. I got the code. That was so close. What is the code? I got the code. What is it? Let's wait until he goes to sleep. Okay. And then I think we'll be able to get out. Okay. Okay. All right. There's our camera on the box. Yeah, I saw that earlier. All right. I think he's asleep. He's been sitting there for a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna need the ladder again, but I think I might be able to reach it and unlock it. Okay. So while we were waiting for him to sleep, we were able to look back at the video and see the code that he entered in. So I think that I'm gonna be able to use that. I'm gonna reach my hand over and I might be able to reach the padlock to put in the code. You keep an eye on him and make sure he stays asleep. Okay. I need something long. Wait, what is that? This is just a metal wrench thing. Oh. Uh, but I think if I get it down, it's got a little knob that pokes out here. Okay. 
Okay, if I can get it down, I might be able to punch the buttons like this. Yeah, okay. I'm up top. Okay. You got it, you're cool. Okay guys, so I'm on my way over to where they said to go on my phone and pulling the GPS. So apparently they're they're at this specific address and I'm going to this address. There they go, there they go. I think they're following me. See that? Ah, oh, good thing I pulled over. See that? There's tons of bandits everywhere around here. Hold on, let me just pull over. I'll stay parked right here while I, while I talk to you. So you saw the bandits go by, right? I finally got here. I'm at the house. Oh, there's another one. There goes another one. Oh. Guys, they're everywhere. Okay, I'm about to the house. I think I can see it over there. I parked a little bit closer to the, well, just off to the road, but I'll see if I can zoom in. That's the house. There's white trucks everywhere. They told me to come with this, with the unicorn horn. Of course, this isn't, this isn't the real unicorn horn. I didn't trust to use the real unicorn horn just in case. I wanted to keep it as leverage just in case. I didn't trust him with the real unicorn horn. I wanted to keep this uh, the real one because I don't want him to do anything bad with it. I don't think they spotted me yet, but I'm gonna go trade this and see if I can get Becca and Mike back. There's another one. They're all over the place around here. Oh, man. There's another one coming. Oh. Guys, I've never seen so many white trucks here at one time. They're everywhere, like everywhere. Becca and Mike are here. I know they're here. And I'm gonna have to trade this for him. Hopefully this works. Hey, I'm on my way over. Oh, look at that. It's a white truck and another white truck. I'm gonna head into the backyard now. Hey. Becca, sit down. I got it. He's here, he's here, Becca, he's here. It's Ryan. 
I have it. But I, I don't want to give it to you unless you show me the second mic. What does he have? Oh my gosh! And why did you give him the unicorn horn? I had oh well, okay. sorry. I made a duplicate. I made a duplicate. It's fake. Total fake. Really? There's another one. Oh, there is. Oh, oh. we gotta get away. We gotta get away. How did you know where we were? Oh. How did you know? They sent me a text on my phone. Really? How I did think they have, have your, phone? your stuff on your phone first? Oh, that would make sense. Oh my oh, gosh! Oh, there's another one right there. There's two. Oh. So good to be free. It's oh, so another good. one over there. There's so many everywhere. We go down this back road. <gasps> I think we got away. I took a back road and I think we're okay. We ran fast and I don't think the bandit was able to catch us. How did you guys home. escape? I mean, I was over there. I was getting ready to hand him the big. I was so worried I wouldn't get you guys back. And then you guys were already out. Yes, and good thinking throwing the unicorn horn. So can you go after it? So yeah. Go after it. Yep. Oh. I'm just so happy to be free. We've been locked up for weeks. I can't even believe it. It really makes me oh. wonder what that unicorn horn does or what it, uh, why it's so special. I'm just glad that we still have it and that you made a fake so that he didn't actually get it because there's got to be something really special about that thing that Ryan, we don't know yet. He has an artifact that can make us into bandits. I, I saw that. I saw that on the, the, the thing that they said. Why, by the way, they took over the channel for some or something. They stole the channel? Yeah, and I was looking at it, and you used to have like a, a thousand and three hundred videos. You only have like a thousand now. They've been deleting videos. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So the bandits took our channel and deleted our videos? A few of them, yeah. Maybe it's because they had my phone because I'm logged in on YouTube. <gasps> oh, good thing you have your phone now. Yeah, we got, our, in charge of the channel again. we got our phones back, so we're going to be okay now. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, I'm just so glad we got away. Oh, Becca, I grabbed this <gasps> out of that chest. Oh my goodness, what is that? I think this is the clue. This is the key that Mr. E left <gasps> that the bandits got to before us. You found it? I found oh, it. How do we know that good. that's it, though? How do we know? It said Mr. E on it. Oh, wow. So this is what they stole from us, that from Mr. E, and we got it back. So we'll be able to decipher the clue and figure out where to go next. Oh my god! I don't think that they were able to decipher the clue. They got the key, but I don't think they knew how to use it. Okay. So we need to make oh. sure that we follow this and decipher the code and do that before we post any more videos. Yeah. So that we they don't know we where we are. We cannot let them get to any more of the clues before we do. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to go home and see the kids. Oh, and they're so nice. safe. We finally found out. They're with okay. Grandma. Oh, yeah. That makes grandma me so hurt. happy. Thank hey, you, Grandma. I babysat. You owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving us. You are welcome. Thanks for saving the kids. Thanks for saving Actually, the I'm day, happy Ryan. You guys are okay. I really am just happy you guys are oh. You're awesome. I'm so I glad to be home. You. Dude, I might not clean up. Sorry. That's the kids okay. are going to be so excited. I'm excited to I'm see so the kids. Excited. Guys, we're home. We're back. Hi! Did you miss us? Did you guys miss Woo! us? Did you miss us? Oh, we did! We got away! We oh, we missed you guys so much! What's that? What's that? Oh, and guys, I have to show you guys something. I found the key. I found the key from Mr. E in the bandit's, in the, in the bandit's lockbox. Look at this. Check it out. Hmm. 
It's weird. Yeah. It's, it's a different kind of key. It's, it's, like, a, it it's like a cipher. It's, um, do you remember on our first treasure hunt? Uh-huh. The, the decipher pin? Yes, this is like a decoder pin. That is the same Very thing. similar. Yeah. Can I see it real quick? So we're going to be able to use this to decode the message from Mr. E that we had. Becca, you Can I see it? So. Becca! Becca? Oh! Are you okay? Wait. What happened? Becca? Are you alright? Becca! Her neck, look at her neck. Wow. What is that? Becca, Becca, Becca. I'm just getting ready for the day right now. But um, last night was crazy. It was a doozy. Literally, I doozed. I can't believe I fainted. I was not feeling very good. All of a sudden, I just started feeling really sick. And then that thing on my neck, that was so weird. But I've looked at it this morning. It's fine. It's like gone down a lot. It doesn't look anything like it did last night. That was like, I wondered if I like got a bug bite or something, but anyways, today is the day we are gonna go and, does my hair look good? I missed the spot a little bit. Good enough, okay. So today we're gonna go and see if we can find the next clue from Mr. E. We've got that decoder pin now and I think it's time to move forward, move on and see if we can get the, the clue all the way from Lava Hot Springs decoded with the yes, new decoder pin that we got and then we'll be able to see if we can go treasure hunting today. So what do you think? Better? Yeah, I'm feeling completely fine. I feel really good, actually. Like, better I feel than better than ever, actually. I think we're good to go. We just gotta decode this, decode the clue. But what about the thing that was on your neck? It's gone. Like, well, I mean, it's still there a little bit, but it's just faded away. I think I must have gotten a bug bite or something. I feel a lot better after getting okay. a shower. I mean, we were in, I saw a lot of spiders in there, so. After getting a shower, I feel great. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yes. So should we try to solve this clue for Mr. E? Yes, let's solve the clue and see where it takes us. All right, James. So what we're doing right now is getting the clue from Mr. E put back together so that we can use the decoder pin to solve Wait, it. Actually, I thought the one started here because the last time I saw it, the one started there. But now the one starts here. All right, let's get a good look at that decoder pin actually. So if you look really closely at it, you can see that you got an inner alphabet and an outer alphabet. Oh, are you already Yeah, we're just looking at this clue. Um, trying to see if we can figure out how to use this decoder pin. It looks like there's a hole above the little monster's face. And if you look through the hole, there's like a numbers there. So there's a one and a two and a three and a four. If you look down inside, I think that might have something to do with it. Together. Oh wait, I think that one goes up here. Ah. Okay, I think this is the right one. Test. <gasps> Objects and message are larger than they appear. A whole bunch of letters. <gasps> and L I didn't and know there's a number one here, too. So let's try and see if we can use this decoder pin to solve this message. Okay, if it starts with an A, then T, right? A. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna take Here's the A right here, and I'm gonna put this on T, the smaller one. Oh wait, no, wait, maybe? Let's just, okay, so, so I'd have to have this one be the little A. So then let's put the little, let's put the next one on T. Do you think that this one means anything? Hmm. Step one? Step one, step one. There's got to be more steps. It has the number 19. It has a whole bunch of numbers. That's all numbers. If you spin it, it's a whole bunch of different numbers. Okay, so let's... <gasps> Objects and message are, are larger than they appear. Why would it have to say that? Hmm. Do you have any ideas, Corbin? If A and T are the first words, that must mean at. Like, at a place. A-T-O-H-D-C. Z. Could you read the words up here again? Objects and message are larger than they appear. Okay, Mom, James, go get me a piece of paper and a pencil. Yes, Mom. Thank you. There's numbers on the inside. Four, three, two, one. What if we have to line up the one here, and then we can use 
Like, what if that's the, what's the word that they use for like the code that you have to have? <gasps> so the decoder print is set to one, and oh. if objects and message are larger than they appear, then let's try reading the clue and then maybe oh. go up to the larger alphabet, because you've got a small alphabet and a large alphabet. Objects and messages are larger than they appear. Okay, okay, so, so I get it. So then if it's set to one, then we need to keep this set this way. Right. And that means that the A, the is letter is getting a B. A B. Okay, so because let's the objects in message are larger than they appear. All right. So that means that A is a actually, is actually a B. B. T T is actually a U. U. O O is actually a R. R. H is actually an I. D is actually an E. And C is actually a D. Buried. Did buried. that say word? Buried. That's working. It's working. Okay. Let's get the next of it. Let's get the next. Okay. Q is R and J is K. Uh, uh, Park. I, I was like Bartholomew Park and and it said that. It says Bartholomew Park. So buried at Bartholomew Park. So we know exactly where it's at. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Wait. Yeah. Wait. I'm probably gonna need to get the metal detector. Let's get everybody ready to go and then let's go to Bartholomew Park and okay. see if we can find this very treasure. Little, I think I know where we have a little shovel we can use. Okay, so that, so that'll be perfect. perfect. Let's grab it. Ready to go on an adventure! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Okay, we are at Burger King getting some waters and. Hey, Burgers. You okay? You alright? Yeah. Okay. We're getting some waters and some hamburgers and we're going to be getting some stuff for dinner just so that we can all be fed and happy while we're out treasure hunting. Alright, we got the hamburgers, handing them out. Ow! Are you okay? <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Is it on your neck where it hurt? Where you got hurt last um, no, I mean... Let me see. No, you don't. Like, it'll be fine. I, I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. I just... Are you sure? You yeah, I mean, night. I I'm think I just you. tweaked my neck or something. Okay. So. We're here. I am so excited! <laughs> okay, guys. Time for a fun adventure today. We've got this message that there's something buried at Bartholomew Park. And we're here at the park. The kids are just going to go look around. Everybody just got done eating, so we're, everyone's feeling a lot better. All right, you ready to come, Charlie? Yeah! Let's go play! I'm gonna stay and eat for a minute. Okay, are you sure you're feeling okay, babe? Yeah, I'm feeling fine, why? Okay, just because you've been acting a little bit weird today. Mm, I'm good. I think it, yesterday was just weird, but I'm good now. Okay, let's go look for this clue, guys. That's okay, we don't need a swimsuit. All right, Corbin, did you get the metal detector? Yeah. All right, you know how to use it, right? Yep. Okay. Let's not go in the water. Back and forth. We'll let him try it for just a few minutes and then we'll trade. So there's a whole bunch of beach area here at the pond. We're thinking that maybe if we look around, we might find something buried. So we're gonna look around with the metal detector and see what we can see. There's like a Look at this. It's like a bump and it leads to something. Oh, you're right. There is kind of a bump all the way along. That is interesting. Should we follow it? Let's follow it, yeah. And Ellie's got the shovel, yep. so she's ready to dig in case we need to dig anything. Good job. Rebecca's still at the van finishing her salad, but I'm really actually worried about her. And I know she keeps saying that, oh, it's okay and it's fine, but the way she's acting lately has been kind of strange, but like I don't want to force her to, I don't know, she just is acting weird. I don't know what to do, you guys. It's James's turn, trying to do some metal detecting. Anything so far? Nothing yet. Is the metal detector working? I think so. Cool, little army man. Oh. That's awesome. James thinks he found something with the metal detector. So Ellie's digging and we'll see what we can find. This is fun, even if we don't find any treasure. What is that? Oh, sty styrofoam, garbage. Kids are starting to get wet and play in the water and 
Let's get dirty. <gasps> Dad said something. I think I found something over here. Hey, Dad said he found something. Grab all your shoes. Grab all your shoes. Don't forget them. Because this tells you how deep it is. Oh. And it's all been like six inches or really, really deep. Oh. I found something over here that's showing up as really shallow. Look, it's right on the surface. Can you see oh, that? Oh, okay. So I think that there might be something right here. So let's see if there's anything there. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> what cool. is that? Just look at what we found. It says something. Oval team. Does it say oval team? It's like a mechanist. It looks old. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> it says Mr. E. Oh, it does. Look at that. Chocolate. These look like chocolate coins. I think okay. they're the chocolate coins. Okay. Well, let's read the clue and see what it says. Okay. Let's look at this clue. Mr. E. Mr. E. <gasps> it's got numbers. What if it has Wait. a code? Do you think this is latitude and longitude? I do. That looks like latitude and longitude. Mr. E's done this before. Remember when he oh. gave us the the first clue when he gave us the motorhome? <gasps> That's right. It had coordinates that we had to follow. That's right. So I think. Let's go to the same place. Okay, then. let's go home and let's type in the latitude and longitude to the computer and see where it takes us. Okay. Let's go. To All the right. Same place. Let's go. Ah. Woohoo! I am so glad that we were able to find the treasure today. I feel like that was awesome and that was a really fun just excursion with the family anyway, even if we haven't found the final treasure or anything like that. The it's kids just were fun. getting so messy and dirty. They were. But they were having a great time playing in the sand and in the water. They really were. It was really fun. And it was, but by the time we were ready to go, I was ready to go. They're all gonna need baths and need to, I'll have to clean them up when we get home. <laughs> we'll go and uh, look up the coordinates and see where we're gonna be going. If we have time to do it tonight, then we'll do it tonight. If not, then we'll have to do it tomorrow. We found the treasure. Okay, so we just got home and we need to put those numbers into the computer so we can try to find out where Mr. E wants us to go next. But I can't seem to find it anywhere. Have you seen the clue from Mr. E? I thought I had it in with me in the van, but now I can't find it anywhere. I just. I just got done looking in the van. No, not that one. The one that we just found. Have any of you guys seen the clue for mystery? I can't find it anywhere. I can't either. Where did it go? Where's the bandit store? Ellie, do you know where the clue is? Corbin? Well, I do. I did hear something over in the Do you know where the clue is? No. Where, where did you last see it, Dad? Last time we had it was we were in the van. We just barely got in the van and we were coming home and I had it with me and I can't find it anywhere. I, I just barely had it. The whole container is gone. It's right here. Where? Oh, I do remember. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. I was so worried about it. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's I was so nervous that it was gone. I thought maybe a bandit had taken it or something. Okay, so let's go to um, Google Maps and let's put in those coordinates and let's see what. I'll do it. Time. Just give me the clue. No, I'll do it. Okay. Okay, here. All right. Just put in the code. I will. I'll put it in. Oh, you know what? We I needed something else from the van. What do you need? I'm gonna need all of you guys to go get it for me. Go get it from the van. I, it will go bad. You too, Ellie. I need you to go. Can I go? I need you to go. Can I go? Yes, you too. Everyone. Hey. The bandits need this information. I better put it in here and get the coordinates to them as soon as possible. I know exactly where that's at. I need to get this information to the bandits as fast as possible. Oh. What am I doing? Michael? Why is he not here? We have the clue. Michael, 
Do you have the camera out? Are we going to film the next part of the treasure hunt? It's right here. Oh. Oh, okay. So, did you put in the coordinates? Oh, I guess I... I guess I did. That's really funny. So, where are we going? Okay, so these are the coordinates. Is that right? Did I even type that or did you type that? Oh, you you didn't do it right here. Oh, I don't know. You gotta put um, a comma and a space. Oh, okay. And let's see if that works. Can I have some more? Did you type that it's in just, though? No, I didn't type it in. Oh. I was out in the van because you told me to go get something. Did I? I don't know. I don't typing it in, but okay. Alright, whatever. Let's just move on to the, so let's uh, figure out. Is this the middle Zoom of the out. ocean? Let's see. Oh, looks like Ooh. the ocean. Wait. Oh. Where's this? Oh, that's Utah Lake. Oh, that's Utah Lake. So do we need to go out to the middle of the lake? Look at my kayak! Awesome! <laughs> let's go out and get some, some stuff in the middle of the lake. Snorkeling gear! Um, we have to get snorkel gear. We might. Get my kayak. Excuse you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have time. It's almost sunset. The sun is going down. Okay. Um, it's starting to get late. It's it's actually dinner time. It's after 7 p.m. Oh wow. We should probably get all the kids dinner and get everybody to bed, and then first thing tomorrow morning we should head out to the lake and go see if what we can find. I think that'd be really great. Let's call our afternoon see if we can get some kayaks. Okay. And we and James has a kayak too that we can use. So that'll be really fun. Looking good. Almost a bandit. Oh, I can't find anything to wear in this house. Oops. <laughs> Somebody else will have to clean that up. Oh, that looks terrible. have anything that looks good. There's no cowboy hat in here. Remember when uh, when you found that cowboy hat from the bandits? I mean, uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. Where is it? Probably in your costume room. Oh, thanks. But you put it in there. Yeah. Oh, I oh I know. I just forgot. <laughs> Much better. What are you? Are you a bandit? <gasps> no, no, <laughs> no. Just, I just like this style. Now to find that real unicorn horn. Michael? Yeah? Where's the unicorn horn? You know where it is. It's in our closet. Oh, that's right, I just forgot. Oh, of 
course it is, honey. It's in this chest. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Corbin. Okay, everybody out. Thanks so much, sweetie and uh, dearie. Out. Out, out. All this time, it was just here. Doc is going to be so proud of me. <laughs> oh, yes, finally. Now I need to get these children away from me. They're everywhere. I don't even know what their names are. They're just under my feet all day. Shoo. Mm -hmm. Shoo, little girl. <laughs> shoo, shoo. <laughs> now that I've found the unicorn horn, I need to take advantage of this place that I'm in right now. They don't even know that I'm a bandit. I need to find out as much information as I can about that YouTube family and find where they hid the bandit's cash. I can't believe they took it from us in the first place. Uh, Michael? Yeah? Oh, where did we uh, put that treasure chest with the, the, the cash in it? Why are you asking for all this stuff? Oh, just no reason. Just, I'm trying to organize the closet. We spent all that at Disney, don't you remember? Why? You remember. Oh yes, of course. Is everything okay? Yeah, totally fine. Alright. It's gone. Where's the treasure chest at least? Is it still up there? Yeah. What treasure chest? The one that the bandit's cash came in. It should be in our room. Yeah. It should be in our room. Maybe they didn't notice. I'm hoping that they didn't notice that it was a false bottom and that it had more than just cash in it. Where is it? This is such a messy room. Where is it? Ooh, this is it. Okay. I'm getting close. I, I can feel it. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Oh, perfect. Maybe they haven't opened it yet. What else do I need before I go back to the bandits' camp and join my allies? Ah, an idea. I'm going to ask Michael, see if I can get as much information about that YouTube family as possible before I leave. And as soon as we're able to get all of the treasures built in together to be able to be one giant treasure, then we'll be able to find the final treasure. Time to go do some spy work. Oh, and I have to act like that stupid hubby, Rebecca. Ugh, oh, from the videos, always burping and giggling and blah, blah, blah. Now I have to act like that. Well, here goes. different. Are you okay? I feel so much better than ever before. Full of energy and life. <sighs> but you look like you've got dark rings under your eyes. Oh no, I'm just trying a new look. <laughs> Come sit by me. With the cowboy hat, really? That's the bandit's hat, you know. I like it. What is this? Oh, Why do you have this? I'm I thought you were organizing the closet. I am. You shouldn't just be walking around with this. Is there a chip on it? Did you chip it? 
didn't mean to if I did. Why do you even have this? Um, just it should be in the caring chest. for it. I'm just taking care of it. Anyways, <laughs> come here, sweet babe. What do you want? You're acting strange. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. Howdy. Anyways, I was just wondering if you talked to David from that YouTube family recently. No, but I could. Oh, yes, I would love it. Just reach out to him. I, I would like to go visit him at his house. I don't think they're at their house right now. Well, where are they? I can check if you want. Of course, I would love that. Why? Oh, just to visit. Be friendly. You're Friends. so strange. No, this is how I normally act, of course. I'll message him, see what he's doing. I would also like to know uh, where they are hiding all of the treasure that they've found. I don't even know. They haven't even told me. Mm. Of course they told you. They would have. They would have told you. I don't know where it is. Why are you acting like this? Oh, anyway? nothing, nothing. <laughs> well, it's time to get the kids to bed. Okay, I'll let you do that. Those. This has been easier than ever to infiltrate the beach house and get all of the treasure for the bandits. I am so happy with how all of the things are coming together. <laughs> Hiding from them is so hard. They're everywhere. It's like there's a million of these beach kids. All right, it's time to call Doc. Doc, this is previously Rebecca Beach. You'll be pleased to know that I have tracked down the unicorn horn, the Lost Bandit's cache, and the treasure chest from the Lost Bandit's cache. And not only have I done that, but I have also found out information for you all about where the treasure is hidden from the beach house and that YouTube family. This is perfect. <laughs> And there's one last thing. The Beach family will be at these coordinates tomorrow. Make sure to be there. Get that treasure before they do. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> Something really, really strange is going on right now. And I don't know exactly what it is. But I woke up this morning and Rebecca was not in the bed. And I don't ever remember her coming to bed last night, which means I think she might have stayed up all night long. I'm really worried about her because she's acting so strange. She's like dressing in dark clothes. She's got a cowboy hat on. I mean, I don't want to think anything bad is going on because I love her, but she's acting really weird. Anyway, I'm just going to be paying extra close attention today. I'm a little bit worried that maybe the bandits somehow were able to actually turn her into a bandit because I remember them threatening us with an artifact that they had that could do that. I'm just gonna go and see what she's doing. See if she's even here. I mean, maybe she's even gone. I don't even know. So I hope everything's gonna be okay. But other than that, we're wanting to go find the clue from Mr. E today. So we're wanting to get everybody ready to go and we're gonna go out to Utah Lake. Assuming that everything's okay, I think it should be really fun to go see what Mr. E has for us. Really worried about Becca. Are you okay? What are you doing? I'm um, eating some breakfast. What are you watching? You watching that YouTube family? Becca, you're eating cornflakes and acting like a bandit. And your neck is looking really bad. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you acting like this? Did the bandits turn you into a bandit? No, of course not. You're acting like a bandit and you're dressing like them now. Actually, I'm just 
pretending to be a bandit. To blend in with the bandits. It's all part of my plan. But why? Why are you trying to blend in with the bandits? Oh, you know, they might catch us at any second and, and I could infiltrate their camp. It's a great idea. Okay, well, all right. Well, we need to get ready to go find a clue for Mr. E. Perfect. Oh, and I'll just, I'll keep pretending to be a bandit today, if you don't mind. Well, I guess if you're worried, maybe the bandits might be there at the clue for Mr. E. That could happen, you never know. I guess, Always be prepared. I guess it would make sense to try to go in some type of a disguise so that you, they don't catch us as easily. Are you ready to go? Oh, yeah. Is that what you're gonna wear? Yes, uh, I don't have to wear sunscreen if I have this hat on. Well then, let's get everybody ready to go. Should we all go in disguises? Because that's actually not a bad idea. Oh no, uh, let's, we're in a hurry, let's just go. All right, well then, let's get everybody ready to go and let's go find this clue for mystery. I'm really excited. All right, we've let's got, do it. We've got some kayaks ready, and then let's head to Utah Lake and see if we can find this clue for mystery. It's gonna be really fun. All right guys, we're off on another mystery. Fantastic adventure. I am so excited to see what kind of crazy awesome clue he's got in store for us. What kind of coded message or strange, you know, box we might have to figure out a way into or secret trick locks. Like, mystery always has the best stuff. So we're going to the lake right now. We've got James's kayak and a few other kayaks that we borrowed and I think it's gonna be really fun. Okay, I just looked in the rear view mirror and I noticed there is a white truck behind us right now. How did they find us? There's no way the bandits could have found out where we were going today. They should not know. Becca, did you notice that there's a white truck behind us? Oh, oh no. no it's following oh, us. Yes, it's there, isn't it? How do you think they could find us? No idea. But that's so strange. How long have they been following us, you guys? They've been following, following us for the whole drive. Really? Yes. The whole time? Oh no. I really hope that it's not really a bandit. That would be so bad. I hope that maybe it's just a coincidence. I mean, the color of that truck is a little bit of a grayish, off-white color, so maybe we'll be okay. Maybe it's not really a bandit. Okay. So I just turned off that main road and it doesn't look like they followed me. So I think we lost them. It's possible they could have been just a scout, but I'm hoping that it, maybe it was just nothing. Either way, I don't see them behind us anymore, so I think we're okay. Here. I've been waiting for this. Me too. I'm really excited. So we just got here and let's get everything unloaded yeah. and let's get out on the water. And I've got my GoPro. I actually got a new GoPro because my last one broke. Do you guys remember when I was diving up at Lava Hot Springs off that huge 33 foot dive stand? I actually broke the top of the GoPro casing so I had to get a new GoPro. Anyway, I'm excited for this. So let's go take it out on the water and see what we can find from Mr. E today. Yes, let's see what we can find. Yes, that's a good idea. Everybody out. I'll be out in just a moment. Finally, my plan is coming together. This is perfect. I've waited for ages for this to happen. Finally, the bandits will meet and find us, and then the beach house will be taken and all of the treasure will be given to its rightful owners. All will be right in the world! <laughs> you a bandit? I thought you were out of the van! I, I just barely woke up from my nap. I'm not a bandit. You just said that you were. Don't tell anyone. Keep our little secret between us. All right? Okay. All 
All right guys, so we're here at the lake. Sorry if it's super, super windy. We just got here and I have to trade out this hat for my seafaring water time hat. Hey Corbin, you getting an upgrade, dude? Oh yeah. Check this out. Now I'm ready to go on the water. Dun, 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 dun. So now I just need to get my kayak, and this old pirate is ready for an adventure yard. Hey, I figured since Becca's playing dress up today, I might as well play dress up too and wear my old pirate hat that I got. Ahoy, me babies! A vast out there on the water. Let us take our vessels and go and see what kind of scurvy dogs we can battle for the treasure yard. Are you ready, dude? Yeah. Let's see how this hat looks on you, babe. What do you think, guys? Does she make a cute pirate? Let's go and take a look at the water, you guys. Yeah. See how it looks. It's a beautiful sunny day. Super gorgeous weather. Very, very nice out today. What? What? What's up, James? Mom didn't know that I was in there and she was talking weirdly like a bandit and she said that she was a bandit. I think it's all just an act. She's just pretending to be a bandit today. No, but really she was talking like a bandit. But she said she was only doing it because she's just dressing up. Like see, see how I have my hat? And I was just saying to Ellie and Corbin, Yar, let's go out to the water and see what kind of treasures we can find. But I'm just pretending. It's just I'm, it's just a joke. What's I'm just dressing up. James was just telling me that you were dressing up like a bandit. But I was telling him that it was just pretend. Of course it's just pretend. <laughs> That's so sweet. Walking out to the lake together. Bandit and her son. <laughs> just yeah. joking. I'm joking. It's just pretend. You guys excited to go out there too? Cool. It's a little bit hard to see, but I've got the coordinates on my phone leading us out to the middle of the lake. So we're right in this area, I think. I and we're just getting ready to go out to the middle of the lake and see if we can find, I don't know what to expect, if it's gonna be a treasure chest or a buoy or maybe a ship or something yeah. is out on the water. And today's adventure is out at sea. Yarr. I'm finally out on the lake. I convinced them to give me my own kayak. I'm so excited, they have no idea what will hit them. Look what I found, a cozy coop! Isn't that funny? All right, Michael's coming. He's got Ellie with him. I'm hoping the bandits get here soon. While I'm out here on the water and they can't hear me, I'd better explain to you what's going on. I brought the bandits tr cash treasure chest. All of the cash was gone because they stole it and went to Disneyland with it. But it still has the secret compartment in it that they haven't figured out yet. I also brought the unicorn horn and I'm hoping that the bandits will get here as soon as possible before we're able to find the treasure from Mr. E so that I can exchange everything that they need and show them where Mr. E's treasure is. <gasps> They're coming up close. I better be quiet. So Ellie and I are out on the water. I think that's the bar. You think it's gonna fall? Yeah. I'm a good boat captain. We're out on the water. You ready to find treasure today, Ellie? Yeah, we're also turning. Okay, I got it. All right, let me control it here. Moving pretty quick here. Mm -hmm. I see mom. Hi. <laughs> we're out on the lake now. This is gonna be fun. Now we just have to look for the coordinates left by mystery and see if we can find anything, okay? You ready? You ready to help me look, Ellie? Yeah. Okay. You guys ready to go do some seafaring adventures? A vast sea scurvy dogs. The booty be that way. Shall we be heading that way? Aye aye, Captain! Alrighty then. I see me dear sweet wife has gone over that way. Not sure why though. I think it's because of Yar, she loves that car. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Hey, that's just like the parts of the carbine. That's right. They're coming, they're right behind us. Hey, look, I think that's a shark. A shark? <gasps> Not a shark. Ooh. I think just Right back in the hair. Okay, let's take a look. 
We're out here at sea, the open sea. That means we gotta be getting close. We're just kind of fanning out and looking for anything that might look like a clue for mystery. Yeah. Let me know if you see anything, okay, Ellie? I'm gonna need your eyes. I'm gonna need your help to find this clue, okay? I think I see a bottle right there with a the clue. A floating bottle? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Well, we inspected the bottle and there was nothing there. What did you bring on this sea voyage, dear? Cornflakes! I brought that too, but Mom took it. Oh. I got cornflakes. Cornflakes are the perfect sea vessel voyaging food. All right, let's find this clue, guys. We're all together now. So let's just look around here and see if we can see anything from this. What? What's that? Do you see something? Yeah. Where? Is there something floating in the water? Yeah. You're right. I see it. All right, cool. Whoa. That is so cool. Uh-oh. Oh, you crashed. Good job, guys. That is so cool, Corbin. Let me see it, hold it up. That is the coolest thing. Can I open it? Wait, is the rope still in the water? I think so. <gasps> oh no, Becca, look. It's a bandit. He's in a white kayak. Bandit, we're over here. <laughs> Wait. What am I doing? Ah, we gotta get out of here. Guys, don't open the chest. We need to get away from the bandit right now. Let's go. We gotta go back to shore quick. Keep paddling, keep paddling. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We gotta get this clue for mystery safely. Hurry. Get back, guys. He's right behind us. Go, go, go. Come on, Becca, let's go. Becca, let's go. What are you doing? Yeah, we're over here. Becca, stop calling to him. <laughs> No, you, you're not really a bandit, remember? You're just pretending. Are you okay? What is going on? Come on, we gotta go. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's Where are what, we not rowing? Let's go. That's what I've been saying. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Is it your neck again? No, I'm fine. What is oh, going... Yeah, Where's the bandits? What is wrong with you? Over here, come on, they're no. over here. We have to go. Go, go, go! He's coming! Oh, he's coming up close! We gotta get out of here! He might as well come up close. <laughs> I hope he catches him. <laughs> okay, I'm passing him. It looks like he's distracted with his net. That's perfect. If he's distracted, we'll be able to get away. The bandit is right behind us. I just barely passed him. And he's gaining on me right now. He's getting real close. Oh no, he's right there. He's right there. Oh no, he's got us hooked. Let go of me, you bandit. Oh, oh no, hurry Michael, he's gonna get you. He's got you hooked. Get away, get away. Oh. No. Okay, let's go. Why am I dressed like this? I gotta get my family to safety. <laughs> Let the bandits catch us. It'll be more fun that way. <laughs> the band is right behind you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hop on out, Corbin, hop on out. Rebecca, are you okay? Get out, the band is right behind you. Hurry, Becca, let's go. Hurry, go, go, go. Let's go, we gotta run to the van, quick. Run to the van. Run, 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 run. They're here. <laughs> Where's that treasure chest? Here it is. And the unicorn horn's here too. I've got them both. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Wait, what is in my hands? <laughs> here they are. <laughs> I've got both the unicorn horn and the what treasure you, chest. <laughs> you can't take these things.
so happy you're back. <laughs> good. I'm back for good. I missed you so much. What did I do? A lot of crazy things. I feel like I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I'm happy you're better. And Me it's too. so nice that we still have the unicorn horn, even though you tried, well, Bandit you tried to give all the treasures to the bandits. Did I? It was really <gasps> scary. I'm just so happy you're better. Oh, <laughs> me too. I didn't even know I was bad. <laughs> you're not bad, Rebecca. You're just the sweetest, <laughs> you're best person bad. ever. Oh. I'm just so glad you're back. Mm, me too. And I'm back. <laughs> and I'm back.